All right, cadets, Dr. Cook here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about resupply techniques and how to keep your platoon resupplied. All right, so we've got several resupply techniques that we can use in the Army, all right? There's service station, tailgate, in position, pre-positioned, emergency resupply, and aerial sustainment. Okay, so let's talk about some of those techniques. And let's start with the service station technique. So as you can see here, we got our three little squads and our platoon uh, positions, um, whatever we're doing on this operation. So the way a service station works is the platoon sergeant or maybe the first sergeant's going to come in and they're going to set up a uh, resupply service station, uh, which means they're going to set up one location with perhaps water, food, uh, somewhere to collect EPWs and stick them in to hold them, um, medical care for the unit. And they're going to set that uh, probably behind a terrain feature uh, from your platoon position. And then what you're going to do is rotate. Each squad will come out of its position uh, and go through that service station uh, in turn. Um, and this could happen too. I mean, the company could do this and then each platoon pulls out of position. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be by squad and for a platoon, but, but for your unit, each sub element is going to come out and go through all the stations in the service station. There's usually one way flow through it. Um, if you've got mounted units, there'd be uh, refueling somewhere in there or maintenance for them to pull off and do a pit stop and you would drive through this thing in, in order. And then, uh, once all of your units are through, the platoon sergeant's going to pack everything up and he's going to leave. And that's the service station method. Now. This is a good one to use when enemy contact is not likely. Uh, you can use it to resupply one or several classes of supply. And um, when you do it, you do need to state the sequence of moving. Either you're going to pull teams out or you're going to pull squads out at a time and how they leave their defensive positions and, or their combat positions and rotate through the service stations. That's something you got to make sure you include if you use this method. Let's talk next about the tailgate method of resupply. So once again, we've got our squads out in our platoon uh, combat positions here. Uh, so in the tailgate method, uh, platoon sergeant's going to bring, uh, you know, his vehicle or whatever up. And it's kind of where we get to the tailgate idea. He's going to come up to a squad's position somewhere behind them. And then the members of the squad are going to leave their positions just a short distance to come back to the tailgate get their supplies, and then go back into their position and rotate through that way. And then the platoon sergeant's going to pack it up and move over to the next uh, subunit's position and do the same thing. And maybe they're going to drop off some EPWs here, right? And when he's done with that squad, uh, platoon sergeant moves to the next combat position uh, for the, the final squad, and they all come back to the tailgate of the truck, basically, and do their resupply. And then once we've gotten all of the subunits in our platoon, all the squads in our platoon done, uh, platoon sergeant takes all that and leaves. All right, let's talk about some of the considerations for using the tailgate method. Uh, this is something that's usually used in an assembly area, maybe by company uh, with the first sergeant coming around to each of the platoons. Um, it takes more time than the service station does to kind of rotate everybody through because you're you're packing up all of the supplies and relocating them more times. Um, but you can use it to resu resupply one or several different classes of supplies if you needed to. So that's the tailgate method. Uh, next, let's talk about in-position resupply and what that is. Um, so really here, we're, we're going to have the platoon sergeant again come up to behind a squad position, but instead of bringing our combat troops out of their battle positions uh, to go back to a resupply point, uh, the platoon sergeant and maybe some other soldiers are going to go to each individual fighting position and uh, bring them whatever supplies they need and pick up whatever supplies uh, or things they have to bring back. If there's casualties or EPWs to bring to consolidate through the platoon. Uh, so here we can see our little example of our 
platoon sergeant getting out and visiting every individual fighting position in our platoon battle space. Um, and then they will finally leave. Now, considerations for this, uh, this is something you use during operations when you contact with the enemy is imminent, right? Like you don't want to draw off a squad out of their fighting positions. Um, we want to keep our troops ready to engage the enemy. So we're going to bring the supplies all the way to them at the end. Um, so supplies and equipment get brought forward right to the fighting position. Uh, this is best done with a single class of supply. So if you're coming through and bringing chow to everybody, or you're coming back and bringing more ammunition to everyone, or you're coming through to uh, collect up casualties with the medic and drop off uh, replacement uh, medical supplies. Uh, a key consideration with this, you do need to think about providing a guide because you're probably talking about, you know, the first sergeant coming through uh, with his driver and someone from the, you know, company uh, supply section. They don't know where all your fighting positions are um, and you're going to need someone to guide them into each fighting position from the rear to show them how to get there and then get back out safely. Okay, pre-positioning supplies. Um, this isn't so much a resupply technique, but this is a supply technique. Um, this is really where we take all of our supplies and we dump them somewhere uh, we think we're going to need them all at once ahead of time. That's kind of it. We just dump everything there. Uh, this is something often used in the defense or potentially other times when it's appropriate. So you could use it in offense. So for instance, you might have a, a bunch of truckloads of supply that you can push, uh, you know, forward deep into the battle space, um, kind of around the fight so that when the fight is over, uh, you're much closer to them and, and can move up and get, uh, you know, refuel, for example, with vehicles. Um, now, if you do this, you're going to drop, you know, potentially, uh, you know, class four or five materials, POL, um, out somewhere in the battle space. You need to have a removal or a destruction plan. How are you going to get in there and get it out? Or what are you going to go do if you can't actually take it out to destroy it so that the enemy can't use it? If something goes wrong with the plan, if you're not going to need that many supplies. Um, you're going to have to deal with them somehow. We don't want to just leave a whole cache of really good, useful equipment laying there for the enemy to pick up and use against us. Um, okay, the last two things we're going to talk about is uh, emergency resupply. So this is something we'd usually use during combat. Uh, when you can't wait for the next log pack that's scheduled for the day or whatever. So you're engaged with the enemy, you're running out of ammo, it's more enemy than you expected, and you got to get more bullets to you right now. Um, that's kind of a common one. Uh, potentially you could have, re, you know, emergency resupplies of fuel or food if uh, things really went bad or went, went long. Um, when you do an emergency resupply, it's really a matter of going up through the battalion and pushing out, um, you know, supply and transportation assets uh, from the battalion level uh, or, you know, company level medics or something to come out to your position and service you. Now, when they get there, you could end up using a service station or tailgate method once they are on site. So emergency resupply really deals with the fact that they're having to come out of cycle and deal and help specifically with your situation. Uh, the other kind of special resupply thing we can talk about is aerial sustainment which is just what you think. Um, so if overland is something difficult or not possible, then we can run an air assault mission here. Um, this is something that needs to get prepared um, ahead of time. You need to make sure your unit is at the right place at the right time to pick up those supplies because those aircraft are gonna come in and drop their stuff and someone needs to be there to get it. Um, or they might fly away with it if they can't find you um, or they might drop it and you don't know where they dropped it. Uh, a consideration with this too is that your unit is going to need to return any of the slings or other equipment they use to airdrop that in. So they're going to bring you not only the supplies you need, but some other gear that you're responsible for getting out of there and bringing back uh, so that it can get used again in the future. Um, so just a consideration to think about when you do that. All right, so that covers uh, our different methods of conducting resupply within our units so you can use those in your sustainment planning.